do we finally know how Cuba's mother looked like? Let's find out. Hey everyone, and welcome to Criss Cross Media. My name is Chris, and you are watching Scrap, the show where I talk about Scrap things from your favorite movies, games, and things. And so, we have a new Pokemon game, Sword and Shield. Whether you're excited or divided over this new entry, one thing is for certain, Pokemon fans are super passionate. And with a passionate fan base comes fan theories, lore, and mystery. Things like the connection between Gengar and Clefairy, or that whole Butterfree Venonat thing. But there's one fan theory that has been speculated since the earliest days of Pokemon, and that is what does Cubone look like underneath the skull, and who is Cubone's mother? Some are quick to say it's just its evolution, Marowak, but there is strong evidence that Marowak was the middle evolution in a far more complicated evolution line. So I'm not stating anything new here, but there are those that claim the Kangaskhan Cubone theory thing. And that's something I get behind. Kangaskhan is shown as being such a caring mother, and not much is known about the baby it carries. However, the baby does have a striking resemblance to Cubone, and the skull that Cubone does have is very similar to Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan's skull shape. It's not impossible to think that at one point the developers had Cubone evolve into Marowak to then evolve into Kangaskhan. But what if there's a missing link to this theory? What if, similar to giving a Pokemon a stone to evolve, there could have been a breakaway evolution here? So let's dig back into the Pokemon Red and Green betas that I covered in the last episode, which you should totally check out if you're a Squirtle fan, but there's data showing that there was a planned evolution for Marowak, and it's not Kangaskhan. So a quick lesson, the Pokemon in the beta versions of the game were not numbered similar to how they are in the Pokedex as we all know, but instead numbered when they were created, Kangaskhan being one of the earliest Pokemon designed for the entire series, being number two. Cubone and Marowak were designed much later in the process, however this does not mean they aren't connected, many Pokemon families are like this. But in the beta, there is a Pokemon with the ID number 146, one that is not in the final game, and this is none other than the final evolution in the Cubone family. Yes, possibly the mother of Cubone and the evolution of of Marowak. With the nickname Guardia and beautifully brought to life from the sprite by artist Rachel Briggs, you can see the similarities it shares with Kangaskhan. So does this debunk the theory? Not at all. Remember how I mentioned giving a Pokemon a stone can change its evolution path? Imagine if giving a baby Kangaskhan a skull could alter its evolution path. The end result of one being Kangaskhan, with the mother being alive, or Guardia, the wearing of your dead mother's skull. It's always fun to speculate, which is why I want you to tell me what you think of all of this. Is this just a fun fan theory, or is this something so much bigger that the developers scrapped and streamlined along the way? Let me know, and a huge thank you to Dr. Lava's Law Pokemon, there's his channel right there. Give him a follow. He's been such an awesome help throughout all of this. And have fun with Sword and Shield, guys. Please tell me which starter you're choosing. The correct answer is, of course, Grookey. <laughs> anyway, see you all in the next episode. My name is Chris, and you have just been crisscrossed. Peace out.